Hey, it's James from Free Electric School. On today's video, we've got a bit of a bitty day. Loads of stuff going on. Let's get into this. Right then, so we've been called out to a little kitchen and apparently there's an oven. That's all set the plug on fire, if that makes any English sense. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. It's absolutely just rammed in there. You can hear it. It's all cracked and yeah, he just wants it swapping over. Ugh, look at that. Oh my God, it's black. Absolute, just died. Right then, so first thing you do, then you check the rating. Ugh, I can pull this off without it falling. So you look behind here. I don't know if you can even see, but it says 2.65 kilowatts, so 30, uh, 3 kilowatt is like a kettle, it's 30 amps, so that's fine, but 2.65 should be fine as well. But um, I think when things get older, they start to pull more, um, definitely with like fans and elements, when they get a bit of grime on it, just from being old, um, being used, then it ends up resisting a bit more and pulling more than what it was, so 2.65 is probably pulling a lot more now. So there's that, and then, there is a socket with a pin hanging out. <laughs> you turn that on. I don't think that's the live pin. That's what I think. Can't even think. Um, no, live's to the right, I think. No, left, 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 left. So it's good. But when you wire a plug top, it's backwards, and then obviously you spin it around and plug it in. But yeah, so that's the live pin. So luckily that's neutral, so you won't really get a zap off it. But it's not very good, is it? It's obviously overheated and melted into it. So we're going to have to swap that socket front over. That socket front over. Blah. Absolutely lovely. Blah, look at that. Um, blah, disgusting. <laughs> I think what we'll suggest then, it's a 6mm cable coming in. So it probably was like a 45 amp switch. So we'll swap that out for a, well, yeah, if it's on like a 16 amp breaker, we can swap it out for a 16 amp breaker. So this is only pulling a small amount um, and then what we'll do is swap that out for like a, uh, a 20 amp switch or something or even a 45 amp switch it wouldn't really matter would it it'd be a bit overkill a 45 amp switch but that'd actually work nicely and that way we can hardwire this in and then we've got a bit more to play on because that one five cable that comes with this can also take uh, more than 16 amps so we'll just bang that on a 16 amp breaker and this should last a little bit longer, so there we go. <laughs> right, so we've got these MK sockets, the levers. So I've won these on that CF day. It was, so I was the fastest person to buy a socket. <laughs> and they sent out 50 of these. But uh, yeah, there's no way that six mil is gonna fit in that little hole. So it's for like two, five or four mil, that. So we're gonna have to get another socket out of the van. Yeah, all the staffers arrive now, so uh, yeah, we can't really film in there, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, the funny thing is, the only other socket I've got is a, a USB socket by click. <laughs> it's just a temporary fix, obviously that's been uh, overheating over the next, over the past few years, it's been in about a few years, and it's over time gone, gone crackly crackly, so we're going to do a temporary fix, which should last them a day, and then we can come back, or we can book in Hayden or the other lad, to get that sorted then. So we'll swap it out, like I said, 20 amp switch or 45 amp switch and just run it by a 16 amp breaker and that's it. Nice and easy. I'll do it for a temporary fix then. Right, that was an interesting one then, all them burnt out sockets and bits. But yeah, we're just working in the heart of York now then. So we've got parked up here. That's like 10 minutes max there, or 20 minutes max, yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, Mr. Traffic One's about, there's nowhere else to park, and you can't get parking permits because it takes 10 days to get a parking permit. That's rubbish. Right then, let's get into this job then. We've got a few sockets to install. Right then, so this is the job we're doing then. So we've got loads of little bits around this house, and this builder we've started working with, uh, just want a few bits done, so. A few replacements then, so we've got socket replacement, socket replacement, socket replacement, socket replacement and then we've got a USB socket in the middle going in, USB socket at the end and then this is going to be like a little office. So nice and easy, so they've, they've just had the full floor redone because it was a bit knackered. Um, so I've got to find the ring, find the cables, 
So basically the sockets are wired from the fuse board all the way back as a ring. So we're gonna chop into that ring, send one cable to this point, that point, and then back to kind of extend the ring. So that's the plan then. So let's get crack on then. So we're gonna mark these out then and start getting chopped in. So before I do that then, I'm just taking off these sockets, pull it forward. A bit of neutrals popping out. Look at that, rattling about in there. Been causing fires. It's a good job checking them all, make sure they're all tight, <laughs> flipping neck. Ugh. There we go, they're all chased in nicely then. So what we had to do was get the depth of the box. I'm balancing it. <laughs> yeah, so we had to uh, basically chase around, so we marked out around the box, chased it to the depth of the box. We we're gonna chase it in a 10 mil deeper if you look. And that allows for the USB gubbins because it's a little bit thicker than the USB sockets by about 10 mil. And all we've done, there's a connection there, so it's all dodgy, but the rings there, I've checked it. We sent the cable from there to here, to here, and all the way back. And then we'll extend the ring there, and that'll be it then. And obviously, we've got all these socket fronts to swap over and replace. And that'll be this room done. Oh, I've also done the fireplace, so there's a cable that goes to the fire anyway. That's all connected in the back. And it comes into this socket, so we've just extended it into here, and then cables back, so they're ready to connect in. Off, uh, so we'll spare off the ring for this switch for your spur and then obviously when they switch that on these cables will come live going to the fireplace nice and easy yeah then, so it's work a little bit late because i had a meeting to jump in too but yeah essentially we've chopped in these sockets here so they're nice and neat in line, in line. so i have to pop them off blast them and we'll screw them back and they'll go nice and straight and then this we've just uh, extended the cable that was just wired into the back of this so it had no isolation Extending it to the switch through spin and back. So that's that job done. Hey, <laughs> no parking ticket, free parking. Can't beat it. So I think I'll have a bit of munch now. So I've not had lunch because of that meeting. I'm a bit hungry. So let's see what I can find at Middle York. It's only six o'clock and there's shed loads of traffic still at Middle York then. Let's see if there's any takeaways open. I can't bother walking to Middle York and see what there is, but I'm sure there's a Thai restaurant down here. Mm. Yeah, I lied. It's 19.23. <laughs> you don't know military time? Oh, we've got a shawarma shop. We've got Love Cheese. And this is the little Thai little base that I might try out. This little orange shop down here. Oh, let's give it a go. Is it Mali? Mall? Thai food takeaway? Oh, what should we go for? I had a takeaway for ages. It's been well good in January. Um, Oh, I can't decide. Maybe red tie curry rice. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, 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 got that little feast. Let's get this home and uh, get this little shrier. Oh, before we go in and try it then, look at that. Crack socket from today. So nasty. Now let's get this chucked in bin. <laughs> Thought I'd bring it to show people, but... I don't know. There we go, so it's Marley Thai food then. Let's take it away. Check these little babies out then. So these were the honey summer. Honey chili chicken. Mm. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it? Right, oh. Steamy, steamy. And let's give this a little blast there. Oh, yeah. Might as well with that. Is that a chicken? I think that's a chicken, um, like a drumstick with your bones in. Mmm, yeah, it's still nice. Oh, it's bit spicy. Oh, oh, spicy. Beautiful. All right, there. So, if you enjoyed today's video, I don't know, I should be tired today. Look at me. Come on, eyeballs. But if you'd like this kind of video, <laughs> hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, I got them from me, and I'll see you on the next one. Woo!